Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 7, Episode 13. And today I promised we'd go storm chasing. And to do this, we're going to be using a special resource pack um, created by An. Please don't kill me if I get this name wrong. Anoim, Anoin, Anoin, Ana, Anoimoi, Anoimoi, that guy. He made this resource pack. And I'll leave a link in the description if you like it. Um, just note that this rain and these particles floating like that, that's that's nothing new. That's that's in the mod. But these animated textures here, yeah, that's new. And we're going to be chasing this cell right here. Um, I kind of like this northern cell. It's a pretty good cell. Actually, technically we'd be looking at radar like this, wouldn't we? I don't know. This hell started dropping some baseball dimers. So um, uh, maybe we'll just stick with this one. Um, it's gonna be pretty rain wrap though, pretty high um uh, precipitation like cell. So there you go. There's your there's your terminology for today. An HP. Maybe we should get a look at it from our handy dandy weather tower. I'm garbage. Ooh, ooh. Let me just try and kill these things through the rain curtains. Okay, climb the ladder. Yeah, that's great. There we go. Damn it, I can't climb the ladder. Well, there we go. Still hailing. Yep. Nothing here yet. Just some rain. Still got some rotation. I see it through these rain wrapped rotation yep yep you can clearly see what's going on there um <laughs> yeah you guys can see it too right just just right through there there it is that's what we're looking at <laughs> um <laughs> i'm glad we built this weather tower to give us such a clear view i knew we bounced on the right cell this one started dying. Oh, now we got a tornado. Um, well, according to radar, it's indicated that there could be enough circulation to produce a tornadic event heading to the southeast. We are currently southwest of the tornado, so we should be fine. Should have a decent view of it up here. I think I need to turn the particles down. I don't know. Just me. Maybe I don't. I can't really see the tornado from this vantage point, though. I can't really confirm that there's a tornado out there. We're going to have to get on the ground and get closer. I think it's there, right there. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I can confirm. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get down on the ground and chase this thing. Oh, yep, there it is. You can see it through the rain. Ow. Ow my leg oh alright oh, here we go chasing after it looks to be an EF1 pretty violent if you ask me <laughs> kill me alright let's uh let's ooh looks to be wedging out it looks to be as uh we're getting a little close to it it's definitely a rain wap a Wayne wrapped. It's a Wayne wrapped winch. It's a rain wrapped wedge. Nighttime, very dangerous. What is this, Alabama? <laughs> Ow! There's also a bunch of hillbillies attacking me from the left and right. Ah, yes, the radar has it as an F2, moving directly away from us. Let's keep up with it. Uh, I can't really tell you how much this is going to increase, but you know we'll keep chasing it. Right now we've got a violent wedge on the ground picking up some of the local delinquents. You can hear it. You can see the rain curtains being taken into it, like inflow wrapping around it. Oh, do you look at that? I've been disconnected from Discord. That's cool. Um Hmm. Still moving away. Appears to uh, latest velocity scans have it as a weakening storm now, but we're going to keep following it until it picks up. 
And we won't fall it after that because even though, you know, it would be realistic for it to potentially increase again, it's not going to do that. You know, it could depending on the environment, but nah. Why would that happen? Oh, yeah, we might be um, uh, nearing the storm a little too close here. Need to keep our distance. But, you know, we're pretty extreme, if you know what I mean. We're pretty extreme chasers. Well, this is uh, quite the storm here. Let's uh, move in for a closer look. Got some of them mobs following me. Just, you know, follow us around with our radar truck thing here. Is that an Enderman got pulled up? Couldn't have been if this rain would have killed him. Still an F2 though. Still a wedge. It's wider than it is taller. I'm Reed Timmer and you're watching Disney Channel. This is, this is the part where I draw the thing. Oh. There's uh, quite a few mobs being picked up into this. If you could no doubt tell by the tens of sheep being slammed against the ground like rag dolls. And it um, uh, appears to be moving out to sea like a two week away GFS East Coast snowstorm, if you know what I mean. Still an EF2. Still got quite the, quite the wedge shape to it. Very violent. We might want to decrease the um, uh, rain amount depending on the episodes because it's getting to the point where we can't see what's going on in some of these. I mean, it's, this is kind of a cool experience. It's just some episodes we might not want this entirely, you know? Just maybe. I don't know. Hot take. Um, we're not going to chase this as it moves across the ocean, though. Because, you know, that would be pretty dumb. Do we have a bed on us? No. Dang it. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to do it for our storm. It's not going to cause any issues moving out across the ocean. It's just a water spout now. That'd be like if a supercell moved from moved out into the GOM from Texas. Nobody's going to care. Now, if it moved from the GOM on shore like it did in, uh, I don't remember the specific date, but a monster supercell did that in Florida and c turned into an EF3 last year. 2015 I can't exactly remember but if that did that it would be of concern ah oh, yes that's an EF1 now if I'm not mistaken on the enhanced <laughs> scale moving away from us out of danger out of mind out of sight no one cares let's check out the path here the path uh ow <laughs> appears to be pretty wide what is it this path here I think so yeah uh-huh, appears to have gone through here, and probably touched down, as you can see it grew in width, the path width right there, uh, probably an EM0 through here, just picking up grass roots, and this is where it touched down, right about in here, that's where we identified it touching down from the tower, and the funnel probably formed, um, I'd say it probably formed on top of this hill, probably interacted, caused it to touch down maybe. I don't know. That's just me and my guess. But that's uh that's your storm chasing episode. Hope you enjoyed. Um it took me a while to get this stupid mod to work again. I had to goof around with the settings if you know what I mean. Uh that's uh that's gonna do it. Hope you all enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Look for Tornado Wars five coming soon. Um uh Next episode, we'll get back to working on this house. We'll put a roof on it. I did some live streaming work. I'll show you the interior here of what we did in the live stream. We basically just built a basement here. It's a pretty sick basement. It does its job. But, yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Bye! Christmas is my favorite freaking holiday. Like any other freaking holiday If you don't like Christmas, you're probably a Jew And I don't want nothing to do with you Take it away, Sean!
birthday. <laughs> That's right. It's not like any other freaking holiday. If you don't like Christmas, you're probably a Jew. And I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm gonna go. There he goes. La 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 You don't like Christmas, you're probably a Jew. And I don't want nothing to do with you. Bum bum.